Third floor, studio, Ms. Abdul. Thank you, Seymour. You're welcome. Hey, Clifford. Hi, Paula. I just wanted to welcome you to Muppets tonight. It's really great to have you here. You know, it's a tradition for the guest stars to kiss me. Uh, for good luck, uh, before the show. <laughs> oh, really? How long has this tradition been going on? Oh, about 30 seconds. Shut <laughs> <laughs> Not so. What? You probably flirt with all the ladies on the show, huh? No, no, no. That's not true, Paula. I think you're beautiful. I could watch you until the cows come home. Clifford, we're, we're home. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta go. It's Muppets Tonight with our very special guest star, Paula Abdul. Yay! If you're a human being, take a break from the Welcome to Muppets Tonight, a show that can be summed up in one word. Super Magnet Marvel Magic Terrific Brill Kuwiti. Help. <laughs> Our guest tonight is the fabulously talented singer and dancer, Miss Paula Abdul. But, but wait, 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 wait. Before you think we have too much class, <laughs> here with a tune is our favorite blue loon, the great Gonzo. Thank you. Culture lovers, tonight, for your musical entertainment, I bring you a team of well-trained artillery shells, the refined young cannonballs! <laughs> Places, gentlemen! <laughs> Camilla! Music, please! <laughs> Cannonball hits Johnny Fiamma. <laughs> hey, nice work, Sal. <laughs> Yo, Rizzo, this musical number is a hit. Yeah, a direct hit. <laughs> What? Oh, don't worry. I didn't feel a thing because the little people floating around in my head, they protected me. <laughs> quick, quick, there she is. Quick. Oh, oh. oh, come on, Clifford, you're not even hurt. Shut up. Oh, 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 oh Paula, I got hit by a cannonball. Bad. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to make it. How about a little kiss? It could be my last. Sure. Don't, don't go away. Oh, oh, man, I kissed the rat. <laughs> I kissed the non-rat. <laughs> and now for an editorial message from Sam Eagle. Good evening. Tonight, I... Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me. <clears throat> Tonight, I would like to talk about the lack of heroes in society today. Here we have two typical youngsters growing up in society today. Ha! You're dead! I am not! I blew your head off! You did not! Did you? Did not! Did you? Did not! Did you? I have an idea! What? 
Let's turn the game on. Ooh, yeah! yeah. Shocking. Yeah. They didn't even know the game was off. And what is the source of this ignorance? Young people have no role models today. No heroes, if you will. Say, now that we played that violent video game, I feel like hurting you. I feel like hurting you too, violently. Oh, yeah. yeah. What say you boys? Have you no heroes? Yeah, we got a hero right here. We got hero sandwiches. Yeah. My hero is a salami sword of death. Ha! And mine is a bologna bazooka. Ha! We used to... What'd you think of that sketch? Well, it was better than getting hit in the head by a two-by-four. No, it wasn't. Yeah, you're right. Hit me again! <laughs> Welcome to Swift Wits, the fastest game show on TV. I'm your host, Snooky Blyer, and here's today's contestant, Mr. Nate Leakey. Nate, I understand you have a very weird hobby. Oh, that's right, Snooky. I can swallow. Oh, well, that's fascinating, Nate. Now, today you're going to be playing for Hopper, a cute little bunny rabbit who dreams of visiting his relatives overseas. And, Nate, you can make that dream come true by answering our question correctly, of course. If you fail, Hopper will be devoured by someone who's not a relative, our very own Carl the Big Mean Bunny. Hi! Now, as you know, we've never had a correct answer on the show, but today that's going to change because I am going to give the correct answer to Nate. Say, that's not fair. Yes, yes, <laughs> and neither are our ratings. We've got to do something to spice this thing up. Okay, Nate, the answer is... Cheese. You've got ten seconds. Uh, pizza. No, no, Nate. It's cheese. Uh, uh, Swiss. Um, no, Buddha. no, just, just uh, say Lindbergh. cheese. Just, uh, just uh, getting my picture taken. Nate, Nate, two more seconds. Cheese, oh, cheese. Oh, string, uh, mozzarella. Fondue. Oh, I give up. What's the answer? No, Cretan. Cretan? What kind of cheese is that? Chow time. Can't even give away the answer. No. <laughs> wanted me to say cheese. Oh, 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 oh. Now that Hopper is joy riding down Carl's colon, now the light bulb goes on. Sorry. Okay, team, things are going very smoothly. Let's get ready to cue the nine-inch snails. They're not here yet, sir. What? Where are they? Carpooling with the turtles. Oh, well, then uh, let's uh, cue whale theater. And three, two, one, cue! Cue the whales. And now, the classic theater of Wales presents Sherlock Holmes and the Case of the Red Herring. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> oh, hello, Dr. Watson. When will Mr. Holmes be in? I got him a case of red herring, and I'm hoping he'll get here before the cat gets it, you know. Oh, I warrant he'll be here any moment if he knows there's a new case to be cracked. Oh, oh that must be him now. <laughs> hello, hello, Watson. Hmm, I smell fish and a flattened feline. And judging by the look on your face, I've crushed Miss Weatherington again. God, Holmes, you're amazing. How do you do it? Ah, I have a very sensitive abdomen, Watson. Ah. Quick, Watson, draw a bath. I'm beginning to dry out on top. Oh, oh, you bloody beluga. Oh, oh you. Ladies and gentlemen, Muppets Tonight proudly presents Opposites Attract, featuring our very own Clifford and the fabulously talented Miss Paula Abdul. Yay!
Oh, I just love those fun musical numbers. Okay, we're going next to the Nine Inch Snails. They're still not here yet, sir. What? Where are they? What are they doing? Crawling? In a word, yes. Oh. Then two buns and a beaker. You be a beaker. Hello, and welcome to Muppet Labs, where through the application of science, we bring tomorrow's yesterdays to you today. Earlier on the program, Mr. Sam Eagle delivered a stirring editorial lamenting the lack of heroes in our society. Uh, we here at Muppet Labs agree that society could really use a hero right about now, so we built one. Beaky? Beaky? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our robot is just like the 16th president in every way. Uh, except for the nuts, bolts, wiring and stuff. Our forefathers. Mm -hmm. Our forefathers. Oh dear. Our forefathers. Our forefathers. Uh, we've got 16 fathers. We seem to be having a minor problem. Oh, 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 we seem to be having a major problem. Oh dear. I've been around a lot of rock musicians, and you know I've seen some crazy stuff. This show's so weird. Well, let's see, we have a crazed robot. <laughs> Which way to little cannonball room? Oh, oh, it's just down the hall. Oh, thank you. And talking cannonballs. No, Paul, I'd say this is a pretty average show. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on. Oh, hi, Mr. Callahan. How you doing? The usual? Uh, no? Well, then, let me try something out on you. I call this... <laughs> That's my whip Molly Coddle. Yeah, and I put a little pepper in there to give it just an extra zip. <laughs> Something wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it looks like there's a little too much zip in my whip. <laughs> What's that you say? A clueless? Yeah, he's in the back. I'll call him. Clueless! Yeah, Polly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh hi, Mr. Callahan. Are you... Say, are you wearing jasmine? You always have such a lovely bouquet about you. They say clueless. Yeah. What's this I hear about you going to driving school? Oh, well, the missus says I've been driving her crazy for so many years, I ought to go to school and learn how to do it right. <laughs> To, uh, to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> to do it right. I get it, I get it. What? Just sing! Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Paul? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. Ooh, that was cheesy. Ooh. Say goodnight, Clueless. Oh, okay. Goodnight, Clueless. Excuse oh. me, but you see back in old Napoli, that's a more. Okay, good news, team. Robot Lincoln has officially left the building. Yeah, yeah. So get ready to keep. Nigel, the... don't tell me the Nine Inch Snails still aren't here. No, no, they're here, sir. But they were mobbed by groupies. Yeah, it was a slug fest. <laughs> get it, slug? <laughs> Cue pigs in space. Cue the space pigs. <laughs> Once again, it's time for pigs in space. Deep Dish Nine, the next generation of pigs in. Look, come on, dear. Someone has sabotaged the artificial gravity system. We are all about to become weightless. Finally! Oh, hey. Oh, this is nice. Oh, oh, oh. oh what a view. Do, do, not, do not strain yourself trying to hold on to the equipment. I am not holding on to the equipment. Oh, are you not feeling any lighter yet? Not yet. Hmm. Are you not experiencing any of that airy light as a feather feeling around your toes and ankles? Look, Buster, I happen to be big boned! Okay? <laughs> Captain! Mm -hmm. I have found the problem! Oh. A faulty circuit breaker! Oh. Isn't that a who? Then go down and push the switch! Oh. 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 Ah. Will you oh. get off me, galactic goofball? Hey, mm. thank you, Commander. That was a nice cushy landing, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> that was highly enjoyable! Let's do it again! Flip yeah. the switch! Oh, 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 oh guys! Flip the switch! Flip the switch! Flip the switch! Join us again for another slice.
piece of outer space adventure on Deep Dish 9, the next generation of Pigs in Space. Clifford, we've taken care of it. We've zapped the Mr. Lincoln robot mm -hmm. with these powerful rays, mm -hmm. and in doing so, have diminished his strength by a factor of three. Me, me, me. Yes, yes, I don't think we'll be seeing much of Mr. Lincoln anymore. Maybe we'll be seeing him more often. Uh, uh, Beaky, oh, did we set the ray for diminish threefold or increase threefold? I was afraid of that. Uh, Clifford, uh, would you happen to have any nuclear rods on you? Oh, man. I must have left them in my other pants. Oh, darn. Baker, no. Oh. Did you see that stiff, lifeless, robotic acting? By Lincoln? No, by the rest of the cast. Oh! <laughs> Actually, I like Lincoln. You should like him. You voted for him. No! <laughs> Once again, it's time for great moments in Elvis history. Tonight, Elvis Caesar. Hello. Caesar approaches! Oh. <clears throat> Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail nothing. I just got back from conquering the world. Well, you've got a lot of gall. I've got all the gall, and part of Saxony, too. Woo. What about turkey and grease? Mm. Oh, no, thank you. I like turkey with stuffing. <laughs> hail, Anthony! Oh. Hail, Brutus! Hail, 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 hail Brutus! Hail, hail, the gang's all here. Yes. Friends, Romans, and countrymen, lend me your steers. I'm gonna make us up some good old-fashioned barbecue beef sandwiches. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, look at here. Ah, uh, we brought our own cutlery. Yeah. Mercy. At two, Brute? Nope. At three. I love that barbecue sauce. Mmm, tasty. tasty. <laughs> Say, fellas, how'd you like to come back to my place? I got huge rooms and 99-cent shrimp cocktail. Where do you live? What's wrong with you? Haven't you ever heard of Caesar's Palace? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tune in next time when great moments in Elvis history will present Sir Elvis Newton. Now this sets me to theorizing. Slice this up, plus bake it in a light fluffy crust, equals one heck of a tasty pie. Mercy! Hey, yeah! <laughs> You know, I've seen a lot of cute kids, but this next act is so cute, I just melt like a fat pad of butter on a short stack of flapjacks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Pompano Beach, Florida, the Whipley Triplets. They're, they're adorable. Paula, I know it's time for your closing number, but I can't let you go out there with that crazed robot Lincoln on the loose. <laughs> about my routine. It's too dangerous. I will not let you do it. Okay. Bye. What? <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, uh, what happened? Nice going, Clifford. We got five minutes left in the show and no closing number. I didn't think she'd <sighs> actually leave. Oh, man, this is terrible. Guys, listen up. I thought it over. I've never let anyone down before, and I'm not about to do it now. Don't worry, Clifford. I'll go take care of that robot Lincoln. All right. Hey, Paula. Paula. Hey, what about a little kiss for good luck, huh? Yeah, sure. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. She digs me. <laughs> Whoa! Nobody loves robot Lincoln. Uh.
guest star, Ms. Paula Abdul, who took a disaster and turned it into a rather nice closing number, don't you think? Hey! 